Hey, what up, guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, in the last episode, we finished off the Forest World, starting with um, Wigglevine Wonders, which was pretty tedious. It was, it's, it's definitely a very tedious level. I failed, like, I think three times, because it was, it was just really annoying trying to, um... Plus, it, it was a little, it was, um, it was a little bit of a struggle. It, it's still a very challenging level, though. But there was just some parts that I really hated, such as I kept, I, I got eaten by one of those, um those prana plant things whatever that that was um it's like one of those vines where you you're getting eaten by the prana plant kind of thing so it's like it's like one of those vines where where um it's basically a prana plant's mouth tongue or whatever so he he i accidentally got eaten by him and i didn't realize he spit me out so fast or you know so unexpectedly to where i failed that was one of the deaths in that level and then we did muncher marathon which um this is definitely a very very tedious and pretty pretty much it's one of those levels that really gets your adrenaline going so it, it's it was one of those levels that i don't really don't really fully respect because of you know it, it reminds me of all those um side scrolling levels where um, not side scrolling but um auto scrolling levels i should i meant to say so it's pretty much like like those types of levels that we that we were doing that i would do in mario you know for all that so but instead we were getting chased by spiders in this level which I kept dying non-stop a little bit. I was trying to make sure I get all the puzzle pieces a little bit, but I, I couldn't get them all. So I, I don't really know where the one puzzle piece is. So I got the I got as many as I could, and then we did the the um the four hundred five temple level, um, blast and bounce. So this level I expected to fail. I was expecting to fail countless times, um last episode, but instead, believe it or not, guys, I beat it on my first try. Yeah, I don't know how, but I guess I guess because I really I've really developed strategy for that, and I've gotten better at that temple level, I guess. But it might have also been because I was using Diddy Kong and um in the heart boost. So, but it, it pretty much pretty much because of this, because I was expecting I didn't expect to beat the war this world last episode. So we actually beat the boss as well, which was Mango Ruby Run, and the boss's name was Mango Ruby, and it's definitely the worst boss I've de dealt with so far in this um game. So. It was really annoying, and he, he would always chase you when you're trying to like set off these switches and stuff, and it, it got it got me really pissed. So, but luckily we beat all that. We finished off World Five, which I didn't expect to do last episode, like I mentioned. So in this episode, we're gonna move on to the sixth world, which is the cliff. So it's basically like a mountain type of world, but it's called the cliff. I always call it the mountain type of world. I, I always call it that, but um, I'll, yeah, this is obviously the cliff. So, but um. Yeah, it's a pretty cool world overall. Um, it is the levels are definitely challenge more challenging than the forest, probably even more challenging than um than the cave as well. So it's gonna be pretty annoying. So we're gonna have to um just buckle our seatbelts and just get ready for the um get ready for some rage. Okay. So starting off with six one sticky situation. So this one um this is a pretty good start to world six, but at the same time it's actually very um it's, this this even this level is pretty annoying too. So. Okay, we're gonna get right into this here and look at this. So we got all these um skeleton enemies here, you know. But um, you guys remember from I think it was from the World Two Temple level that you guys saw these guys. But this time we're dealing with like I think we're dealing with like really yeah like we're dealing with these really big ones. Like the, those guys weren't that they weren't that big when we um when we dealt with them in the Temple level. Oh look at there's already our first Kong letter. It's gonna be tough to get that one. But wait um oh that one's going down slowly. All right there we go. All right. Not too bad though, not a bad start. But look at this now. So, so we have like I don't know what the heck that is. It's like looks like chocolate, but it's not chocolate. I don't know what the heck that is. But if you go in it like this, luckily you don't like die or anything. But you get you're, you're going slower, and you're all covered in you're covered in all that whatever the heck that is. So I don't know. I don't know what the heck that is. I I kind of thought that um it would kill you, like how like how lava does it, but um but it's not really like that. And then we have these enemies that like extend their necks. I feel like we've dealt with them before, but I I don't know. I can't quite remember. But let me let me know if, let me know if we um let me know if we if if um if we did encounter them before and I just don't remember. I don't know. But I mostly remember those um those other skeleton guys that we dealt with at the World Two Temple level, and that was our first death of this world and this episode. And the next Tiki Tag Tribe you guys saw is like some kind of skeleton looking uh Tiki Tag Tag Tribe member, I should say. God damn it. I hate when they do that. They always have to like bite you and all that. And of course they're always bouncing with their heads too. They're not too annoying, but they, they, they can be um They are somewhat annoying. I guess I'll just say that, so. Oh crap, alright, good. 
But yeah, World 6 is just going to be nothing but tedious. And I think there's six levels. Well, if you include the temple level, it's seven levels, I believe. So, um... And so far, I've got... I, I've beaten the first four levels. Alright, well, I'm just going to just take the death. Oh, wait, never mind. I, I don't have to... Oh, what the heck? Alright, there we go. Jeez. I guess you got to wait for them to go down a little bit and get closer. That's dumb. Oh, well. At least you got that now. And now, there's Diddy Kong. But yeah, I basically did the first four levels already in this world off camera. I only I only played these levels once, by the way. So I literally just played these. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, it was already it was like a few days ago that um that I, that I prepared that I um played the levels. But when this video was recorded, it was like a day after. It was like exactly a day after I played the first um pretty much well the first three levels because um right before I record this episode, I I played six four. Which, you'll see what level that is. It's, so far, my least favorite level in this world so far. But, um, we'll see how everything goes. And I might change my mind if we do, um, at either 6-5 or, you know, 6-6 -6 or whatever. So, look at this. You have this, like, this whole, um, skeleton right here. And I don't know what's down here. It's nothing. Okay, I was real. I was really curious. Oh, well. Alright, we'll try it again, though. We can just try it again, anyway. Oh, crap. Yeah, and I like how these, I like how we have these guys, these guys that shoot fire from, what the hell? I thought I hit you. Alright, whatever. I could have swore I hit him with Diddy Kong. Oh, well. Or the barrel, I should say. But I guess I'll just take it. I mean, I have to take it, though. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't really like these, um, these parts, like, with the platforms, because they just, they don't really, um, they don't always, um, cooperate well, so, I don't know. We're just gonna go down here, and I, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna miss something, but I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anything. I don't remember if I got all puzzle pieces here or not, so, um, oh wait, if you go over here, though, look at this, there's a puzzle piece right here, so I, I, I totally remember to go here, though, but now we gotta really make our way over there. Oh, crap, we're sinking. I think if we sink, we do, we actually do die, so we're not gonna, we gotta make sure we don't, um, do that, so. Overall, though, the cliff is actually... It, it does look really cool. Like, look at this. Like, look at the background. The background just looks really, really interesting as well. Like, I was expecting it to mostly be mounds, but um, it's mostly, like... I don't know. It's, it's it, it, has a, it has a weird feel to it a little bit. It has, like, a different sort of vibe to it compared to, like, the traditional mountain, mountain worlds in Mario and all that. I don't know. It's very interesting, though. That's, that, that's all I'm going to say about this world, though. But it does get, um, very annoying, like I mentioned. So. But yeah, um, because here's the thing. World 5 levels, they weren't, some of them were, were annoying, such as Tipping Totems and, um, Vine Valley and all that. But, um, but they're not as bad as these ones. Like, probably almost all these levels are actually very, very, um, very challenging. Like this, like, look at this crap. Oh my god, I still got hit by him. But you have to, like, shoot yourself over that without getting hit by that thing. It's annoying. And then we have two of these things here. You have to get this letter N just like that. So that's how you get the letter N. I would always, my first, I would, for, I would like usually, um, I would instantly just shoot myself over here and I would screw up and I'd, I'd be like, oh crap, I forgot to go and get the letter N. Cause that's, that's usually to the point where I actually lose patience. So we're not going to go down there just yet. This is the part I was actually, I, I was actually, um, trying to figure out if I, if I, if I'm missing something. So we're going to try to make our way all the way over there and we're not going to do that. But instead we're going to go and die. So. God damn it. <clears throat> Alright, I'll take it though. And look at this. I really hate how... So here's the thing. We have this wall right here. And I, I, I kept dying at this part. I kept dying non-stop. And I would always respond at that checkpoint. I would always... I'm, I was always wondering why it took ages for my for me to like let go of the freaking balloon and jump. But I just realized that we were we were like still in front of the, the, the ground. We couldn't like jump off. While we were in, in front of the ground, in, like in the foreground, like that. So, all right, it's really ch this is really tedious though. Like, you have to be so well at this. Oh, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. All right, see if I can do this again. Oh, see that? See how hard that is to do that? Like, I, I don't I don't get it. Because here I, I I was able to actually get over there. I somehow made it over there off camera. I think with just Donkey Kong as well. It's it's very it's like very challenging. You get these. Oh, some, something was there. I don't. I forget. I I forget what was there, but I we pretty much missed it. So I don't know. You guys could look back at the video and see what what was there. Unless it still. Nope, it's not there anymore. 
All right, whatever. Um. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't. I cannot do this. Like I really can't. I don't get. I don't get how. There's a cannon up there. So here's the thing. The puzzle piece should be like over there. Okay, there we go. Finally made it. See, there we go. See that? There's the puzzle piece, and that's what that's what that was. I tried so hard to get over there. It was so tough. Oh man, I got over there pretty. I think I got over there on my like. I think on my second or third try off camera, but it's it's so tough. Like I feel like Diddy Kong would make that easier, but I basically did it so I did it the very very challenging way. <sighs> yep, I died anyway. But at least we don't have to do we don't have to do that part again. That um we don't have to get that puzzle piece again. So all right, guys, try this again now. So, but um yeah so at least we don't have to worry about um i don't have to worry about trying to get that puzzle piece again but now i die again oh my. seriously i really hate these small ass platforms and then i and then I, every time i die i always hope in vain that i could just press the a button to like go of that balloon but you guys saw i told you guys before i had to wait until i was like really close to the ground because that's how that's how that that's how that was and by the time by the time um by the time i kept dying non-stop like that i was i already lost like a tremendous amount of patience which is why I would always, I would, I kept ending up skipping that letter N anyway. But, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, I would already lose patience and I'm, and I just get so impatient. I'm, I'm like, when, like, I was like, when am I going to hit the A button? Right, I'm just going to say screw and just get that. All right. Wait, so I mean, that means I almost missed the, um, I almost missed the, that Kong letter then. Oh, son of a, oh, I can't, I don't understand this. I really don't. And now... You're asking, you're just wanting help again, or wanting me, you're, you're wanting to help me now, again, but that's not going to happen. If I die one more time, I'll just pause the video, because obviously this level is just not letting me have it today. Well, alright, I don't know why, but, alright, let's hope we can do this now. I just, I hate, I really hate these parts with the freaking platforms, they, they move... They, they like the, the the change of pace just is so fucking random, and it's just like you, you don't even know when when they're gonna like really fall. And then, all right, there we go. Get that puzzle piece. All right, now we got these tiny ass platforms, but I hope I don't die again. We're not gonna we're not gonna keep going just yet. Hang on. There's a cactus right here that we're gonna go and hit to get ourselves another puzzle piece. There we go. Luckily, luckily we didn't have to we didn't have to like we didn't miss it or anything like that. Do you get all no? We, we, we lost like four puzzle pieces if we go up here. There's another one right there, but we missed like three of them So I'm gonna say screw those guys and we're gonna go up here and get ourselves the goal And I think we have all the Kong letters too, right? I wasn't fully paying attention to that though All right But there you guys have it so All right, that was the first level of world six and you guys saw how challenging that was That's pretty much how this what this whole world's gonna pretty much be be mostly and like I said, guys, so far, I I only did the first four four levels so far. Well, I might have done more by the time this video went up, but when this video was recorded, I only did four levels, and I so far I would say that world world six four is the worst so far. But we'll see how everything goes, and um, you guys, I'll let you guys know my know more of my thoughts as we go down um, as we go through this this world here. So next up, we're gonna move on to six two prehistoric path. So this is the level that brings back um, carts, mine carts, for the first time since the cave. So it's really cool since um, you guys know we had we did the um, crazy cart, of course, we did that in uh, at the jungle, and obviously the cave consisted of all those uh, mine cart levels. But now here we actually get to uh, witness, we actually get to do another mine cart level at the at the cliff, which is actually very interesting. It's probably the toughest cart level I've done yet by the way so it's right there's the cart right there but we're gonna go in here first and we are back over here with this same goddamn bonus mini game that i truly hate because I, I i of course i failed i failed again i think i failed like twice at this bonus mini game and i was getting so pissed again every time it's like it's like i as soon as i come back to this after like after like a while of not doing this like i don't think we've done this since world three and wait, all right, come on. All right, I'm gonna wait to jump and get it. I'm gonna ju just, just play it safe. I was gonna like make a big jump for it, but I feel like that would have been too risky. So there you guys have it. First try as well, and I was I was failing a I was failing a lot at that as well. When I finally 
return to that. So now we go up here and look at this. So now here's the mine cart. This time we have to like jump on all these, uh, we have all these sinking platforms and stuff and we have to duck from these spikes. Jump on these guys that are now on the mine carts instead of those, those moles before. And we have like these, uh, they look like Yoshi eggs. Not all of them though, but look at that. That letter O you had to really get um, pretty well. Luckily that letter O isn't as tough as the letter N. God damn it! Okay, I, I I I did a big jump by mistake. Oh well, it was a it was a good start though. First death of this of this level wasn't wasn't too bad. I was kind of expecting to die sooner a little bit, but luckily we didn't die sooner. So, but here we go. Let's try this again. Take two. All right, got duck for those. Man, it feels like I I keep having this tickle in my throat as well. So I'm gonna try to ignore that the best of my ability. And then we're gonna try to get this O again. But yeah, like I was saying, um, luckily that letter O isn't as tough as the letter N at Crazy Cart. Now we have to make a big jump right there. And there's one part that I truly hate here. That, um, well, I guess I don't fully hate it, but it's, it, 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 it really, um, it's like, it's one of those parts where you cannot beat it on your, on your first try. Like, the first time playing this, there's no way you could beat it easily. And we just missed a puzzle piece, so, um... I'm gonna just go and just die real quick, just because I want to get that puzzle piece. I also decided to pause the video, just so I could get all those coughs out. I, I well, I had a cough to, to um, I, I decided to force a lot of coughs out because I was I was my freaking tickle in my throat was just really bugging me. So, <clears throat> but that's also why I decided to pause the video. Well, that's I mostly wanted to pause the video because of that reason. My throat just kept tickling, and I just, I really need um. To just cough. And god damn it, of course that was the first time I die at, at those spikes, I think. Well actually yeah, even that even that last death I just had, I never die at those spikes, but now all of a sudden now I am dying from those. Alright, there we go. I meant to do that. You have to you had to jump on that um, little one just so you can get up there and get that puzzle piece. And so now we're good now. I would I would just struggle at that. Oh oh yeah, that's right. You can't jump in order to get the letter G, of course. They always, the game always throws you off like that. It really does. Like, how are you supposed to know that the first time playing this? Do this again. Alright, we don't really have to go up here again, but might as well just do it again. Just because, oh my god! I knew I knew I didn't make a big enough jump. Alright. Yeah, of course I'm dying constantly at this level too. So yep, right off the bat, you guys see these first two levels, and it's gonna be third, it's gonna be the first three levels too, I think. Where... It's just gonna be constant, constant um, failure. But hopefully we can push through and beat it. I, I know, I know I can beat this too. I know I can. It's just, um, it's just I didn't get to play this level enough to the point where I, I'm, I'm mastering at this level. All right, I had to scratch my nose too. Oh my god! Yep, there I go. That part, that roll. So that part with the egg is pretty much the worst part of the level. You'll see why. But, of course, we didn't get far enough to even find out why. But, whatever. Alright, if I die one more time, I will pause the video. So, because <clears throat> we, did, we did make it far enough to the point where I should, I should um, start pausing the video again. I don't know how many times I paused the video this episode. A bunch of times already, because these levels are so goddamn hard. Alright. Oh my god. My nose just keeps itching. I Like, why does my nose have to itch when I'm trying to actually beat a tedious-ass level? And now look at this! See this this part is actually very trippy. Like look at this. You have to you have to like jump quickly. I got so thrown off because look at this. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. See, I, I'm so I was so used to like jumping over those gaps. And then all of a sudden there was all these spikes there that would um all those spike things there that create another another um opening which pretty much screw me over. It was it was very annoying, but there you go. We missed one puzzle piece, but I will take it. There we go. And we got all Kong letters too, so that's obviously that's all that matters. All right, so there you guys have it. That was pretty much prehistoric path. I would say it's so far the most tedious cart level yet. But it, honestly, that didn't that didn't that actually felt easier than um, six one, believe it or not. Six one is just hard as hell. But now we're only at oh, we're at twenty minutes already. All right, well we have only enough time to do six three weighty way. So we're gonna do that and then um we'll end off the episode. I guess we'll just I I don't I don't want to use items yet and I don't really feel like dealing with squawks annoying ass. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't I just don't feel like using any items right now. 
Plus, it seems like these items are just not so important to me, in my in my opinion. Like, if anything, they if anything they need to sell Diddy Kong at the at the Cranky Kong shop, which I I know they do that on on the 3DS version, but if they if they were to sell Diddy Kong at the Crazy Kong Crazy Kong shop, I would be going there a lot more often because I feel like Diddy Kong has to be like the most important thing, way more important than like squawks and heart boosts and all that shit. That's just my opinion, though. I, don't, I, I just, I just, I, I, don't, I just don't like how um they don't sell Diddy Kong there unless you play Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. But yeah, because I know, I know for a fact that um, well, I, I know that Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, the 3DS version is a lot easier, so the game really gives you so much more mercy there. But um, so you guys, so basically for those for those who don't know, I'm basically playing the tougher version of. Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I messed up. Hold on, I realized I missed the puzzle piece, so I'm gonna have to come back into this level and um, try again. Because of course, if I get that checkpoint, I yeah. Plus, I have no choice but to go back anyway. I have to go hit quit and then just just leave. So I'll catch you guys when I when I um try to get that puzzle piece that I, I realized I missed. All right, here we go. Finally got over here. Cause here's the thing, I I kept dying, of course, nonstop over there, like right where the letter K was. So now, look at that, there's the puzzle piece over there, which means we have to pretty much do something like this. Yep, we gotta do that. And then, shoot, yep, uh, we, we got we automatically got shot up like that, so. But it's pretty cool, though. I, I really do like that part. But, um, yeah, so there we go. Got ourselves a checkpoint now. So I, I, I just, I really, I just didn't want to, I didn't really want to miss that puzzle piece, in my opinion. But, um, let's see if I can actually, uh, burn this guy out. Let's see if I can do it. Yes. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. I always hate those guys. It's great to it's, it's it's always it's always the best to um to to blow them out like that. All right, wait. Let's see here. Oh, yep, there we go. Boom. It's just oh, ooh, I thought I died for a second. But it's it's definitely satisfying to um yeah I'll blow blow them blow them out like a candle and all that. So now we go over here and then there's our um, next puzzle piece that we're about to get, which is another one of these. So, feels like it's been a while since we've done this. I think, I think it's been since, uh, well, not, s but basically it's been since World 5, pretty much, because we usually get these, um, get these specific ones every world. Oh my god, just, uh, just let me get those two puzzle pieces. Alright. Oh, okay, that was perfect timing, too. I, I was, I did that without thinking that the, I did that way too soon, because I was more desperate to just get that, pu that last banana. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. Hold on. I, I got so confused about this part. Hang on. So here's the thing. We have to we have to actually cling onto this like that. Yeah, I almost forgot. I keep see. I almost forgot about that right there. So I was I was like I, I thought that was a dead end or something, but no, we had to actually cling onto that. But yeah, I didn't realize I didn't time that right. That at that part where um you know trying to get that last banana and then of course the cannon was right, right was was right in the middle but luckily I was the last banana so I, I managed to get that and I thought I was and I first thought I was screwed but you know, I did I did that at the perfect timing so and now um I don't think there's really anything over there or anything like that but um now we're back now we're out in the background like this which is pretty neat and um there's this cannon that'll take you back over there but we're not gonna do that yet oh plus we actually yeah we have to go we have to go over to the to the right but first we're gonna get this letter N by, by going over the air. And now we have to actually go up here and then go into this cannon like that. So we have to basically do that just to go over here and progress. And we can do this again. Bounce on you. But yeah, I, I, I do I do enjoy this level. Um, I think so far this is the most enjoyable level in this world so far. So, and I would say it is, it is the easiest as well, so. Yeah, definitely easier than 6-1, 6-2, and definitely easier than 6-4. 6-4 is just... You'll see that next episode, but it's just so annoying, so... But yeah, this is definitely a very clever level where, um... You know, you get to, like, stand on these platforms that push these, um... Push these, uh, weights up and stuff like that. And you guys saw that there was... There, there would be those, um... Those, yeah, those skeleton dinosaur guys. Oh, look at this part. This part is actually... Look at that. You had to time that just right, which was actually very clever as well but you guys know these guys were standing on top of these on those platforms that would like forbid forbid us from even like moving the moving them at all so that, that was that was that's kind of um 
kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. Like I really do, I really do like that. Um, like those scenarios too. So, all right. But yeah, after this level, I'm definitely ending off the episode because I'm tired and I'm definitely going to sleep after this. So, but um, because <clears throat> of course it's another one of those episodes where hmm, four in the morning. Oh wait, look at this. So we have that letter G up here, and I was so confused of how to get it. I basically stayed on here, but here's how I do it. I have to go. You have to like. Oh my god, you have to time it so well, and I almost died for a second. Oh my god, please, please, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. You have to, you have to do that, and it's very, it's just very tedious. I'm trying to do that a little bit. And then I, oh yeah, that's right. If you go up here, there's a puzzle piece that I got. Alright, I almost missed that opportunity. And then it leads us over here. There's a cannon that would shoot you up here, but luckily we didn't, we, um, we didn't miss the puzzle piece. We got, uh. Oh wow, we missed one puzzle piece still. Oh well. Oh, I didn't realize that we. I didn't realize I got the DK. All right, good. All right. So there you guys have it. Um, that's gonna appear to be wrap here. I don't know where that last puzzle piece is, so we didn't get all puzzle pieces at any level so far, which pretty much sums up this world so far, because this world is actually very challenging. But believe it or not, guys, I actually did. Here's the thing. I got all puzzle pieces in 6-4. Um. Right before recording this anyway, obviously. So, but basically I have all puzzle pieces in that level. Since they were actually kind of easy to get. Well, they weren't easy to get, but they were pretty, um, they were mostly just out in the open a little bit. And it wasn't like too cryptic, because I couldn't even figure out what these other puzzle pieces were. So maybe I should have used squawks, I guess. I should have. But, yep, the next level we got here is Boulder, Boulder Roller. This level really sucks. So, I remember me and Nick were raging at this. When I went over to his house, you know, I always, I, I always mention that. But we have a locked, we have a, um, a locked path right there, which we need to go to Cranky Kong Shop to unlock. But we will do that next episode. So I'm gonna end it off here for you guys. Like now for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. In the next episode, we're gonna move on to six four Boulder Roller. Well, actually, before we do that, we're gonna go to Cranky Kong Shop and get ourselves that key to unlock that path, which is pretty much six five. And then we got six six over there, right before the boss. And then afterwards, we gotta go over to that temple level that's right down there in the bottom left corner. And basically basically finish off World 6 by fighting the boss as well. Which, um, you know, so far I don't know what the boss is, so you'll see what the boss will be when we get there. But I'll make sure that I'll be I'll be well prepared for you know these these levels up ahead anyway. So But yeah, so overall though. It's definitely a good world though. I do like I, I always like these um these cliff and mountain levels though. Like World 6 was always like such a cool level when it comes to the mountains and stuff. Like New Smarber's Wii, for example, like the mountains were so cool in that in that world. And um even World 6 and New Smarber's DS was always really um really interesting as well. But this one right here is actually uh they really they really made it interesting too, so not not too bad though, so Alright, I don't think I don't think there's really anything else I have to say for now, so. But you guys saw we did the first three levels here, which were all very tedious. Except Weighty Way wasn't like as bad. But you saw Sticky Situation was really annoying. <clears throat> trying to like, you know, get on those platforms and stuff. And prehistoric path um was pretty annoying too when it came to uh you know <clears throat> riding the mine riding the mine cart and, and whatnot. You guys already know. But Mostly it was sticky situation that was really pissing me off with those platforms and such. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say for, for now. So I'm gonna end this off here because I'm really tired. I want to go to sleep. That's why um <clears throat> that's why I'm just out of it right now. But I'll see y'all next time, guys. Be sure to have videos. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button and stick around for some more Minish Cap later at six. If you guys have been watching that playthrough as well. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching.